Good morning viewers, uh, Sunday morning 27th of November we're at the Wesley uh, College grounds out in Glen Waverley significant date for those who follow politics it's Ted Bailey's first anniversary but more importantly today is the Jaguar Club of Victoria's concourse in celebrating the 50 years since the E-Type Jag was released on the market this segment sponsored by Mick Crosby's uh, Jaguar restoration business Mick will be here later on, we hope. He's on his way from Morwell. But quite a significant day when you come and see the amount of people who got Jaguars here, done a very good job in restoring them. And a lot of the E-types, I'm very disappointed. I thought I'd see some English uh, racing green, but they're all followed the Alfa Romeo colour, red. Fantastic array. And we're going to interview uh, some of the owners as well as some of the people who survive a business in providing business activities for restorers. You've got to say, it's very pleasing to see people take such an interest in their cars and a lot of the people who own them actually restore them themselves. So you'll be interesting to see who we're going to talk to and some interesting array of some very important cars. The important thing I learned is that pre-war, the Jaguars were released, not under the name of Jaguar, but they're called SS's. And with the war, the pending war with Germany, and it was an English company, they changed, someone invented, well the owners invented the name Jaguar, and the company changed its name to Jaguar Cars Limited. So they still have a what they call a SS register, but it relates to the pre-war recognition of the, of the NK series. And we'll see some of those for our, our film producers taking a lot of films a lot of still photographs which will be very important and this will go on the uh, Jaguar Car Club's website. So you've been in for an interesting day so come along for the journey and as I speak there's more Jags rolling in. Well we have the proud owner here Colin from Urban North of this uh, lovely SS uh, model. Colin, how long you've had it and give us a bit of background on the... Uh, I've had it about three years. Yeah. Um, I purchased it from a gentleman in Sydney who did the full restoration and unfortunately he's of an age now where he just uh, he can't drive it right. and, and appreciate it and uh, so uh, I, uh, he asked me whether I'd like to purchase it so well, I'm now the proud owner. So how many other Jags you've got uh, which your wife knows about? <laughs> I have an XJS, right. I have a Mark V and uh, that's about it on the right. Jag front. Yeah. So how many of these would be uh, in Australia based on your register? There's four that I know of. Four? Yeah. yeah. So you got to buy up the others and corner the market? Or? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well folks, you can see what's involved. Most of these Jag owners not only own one, but perhaps they've got a portfolio yeah. in the backyard, right? Yeah, yeah. You always got anyway, to pleased to see you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well here we have Mike Harbour, who's not only a car enthusiast, but he is a, a professional uh, drawer of all the classic vintage cars. Mike, yep. pleased to see you again. Uh -huh. I've seen you at the Alfa Romeo yes. one. Yes, yep. yep. also. And spectacular. The, and, the spec and also at the RACV motor. Yes, I've been pretty busy doing cars. Yeah. So this is a full-time business? Yep, absolutely. Yep. So how long have you been uh, doing this? Oh, ever since I could hold a pencil. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So tell us uh, one of the, some of the most popular ones. We've got Jaguar in the background. Yes, this is the Jaguar day. Jag we have, day yes. We better be diplomatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, what are some of the popular prints oh, yourself? Jaguars always go well. Yeah. Um, Bathurst, as you can see, the Bathurst work really yeah, works well. Brocky. Brocky always goes well. And I've also got a very close association and affection with um, Harry Firth. Harry Firth. So once you know right. Harry, you know everybody else like right. Moffat and yeah. Janey and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Bobby so. Jane, I saw him yeah. at Classica. He's he getting on a bit, but he's yeah, a good, good driver. Oh, they're all getting, you know, aren't yeah. we all? Yeah. And the Davidson family still drive? Yeah, they do. Yep, and um, I've actually, one of my favourite prints is the artwork that I did for um, the birth of Goodwood with uh, Tony Gaze right. driving his MG. When you've got Spitfires flying over us and fantastic stuff, and that's when they used to go right. around the other way around the track. So, yeah. so that's still that's a historic track now, is it? Yeah, for the good history revival. Yeah. 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 So, well, today is the 50th year of um, well the anniversary of the E types. How many yes. E types will you think you'll oh, sell today? Prints that is, not oh, cars. Hundreds, <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> what, what's some of the price? 
range. Oh, price so range was um, very affordable from now. I can sell prints here for five bucks all the way up through to twelve hundred and fifty. Well, well, and you do so commissions? I can absolutely do commissions. Right. I can do prints, um, right. black and white prints, colour right. prints, um, personalised prints where I can change right. bodywork colour and change the rego into suit. Or I can do commissions. Right. So say original is going to cost about seven eight hundred bucks. Right. And okay. then for a personalised print, I can do for about one hundred and twenty five. So it's a good compromise right. based on the artwork I've got already. So, I'll yeah. give you a free plug. What's your website address? It's uh, carartist.com. Well, there you go, Simple folks. Enough. Yep. For those of you, at least if you can't afford a new type, at least buy a print. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> absolutely. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you, Peter. You. Thank you. <laughs> okay. One of the Jaguar cars is getting a lot of your attention is this uh, little blue racer behind us with the uh, special fin at the back. But you just see the power of the engine there. And I uh, don't know where the owner is, but uh, when he comes back, we might interview him. But Behind me is uh, the previous roads to the style of Jaguars. And I guess these are the enthusiasts who like um, to have the open air, but uh, you certainly uh, can see that uh, money well spent. They probably say it's an investment, but they'll never sell it anyhow because it's part of their daily life. It's a fantastic looking machine. Well, at long last, we found an English racing colour green E type Jaguar. And I've got to say, that look something you used to normally see out of photos or uh, in books, but you've got to say, they really get the adrenaline going. If you're a young boy, you're interested in uh, those famous Sterling Moss days and when he was racing around different tracks in the world. So, the E type, 50 years anniversary, well done. And I guess we all can dream of owning one of these next year.